Okay, so I'm balancing my phone on a frog's head. Okay, hopefully it stays. Okay, hi, I haven't made a video in a really long time. So I figured that it's about that time. <laughs> um, so, man, I'm trying to think of everything that's happened. I think it's been like two months since we've talked last. <laughs> um, what's happened? So I moved, for starters. Um, this is our new spot. We moved in with our brother Mikey. And Diesel has a big old backyard with the pool. Look at him. He's just hanging out. Oops. Uh, Diesel, say hi. Come here. Diesel, come here. What you got? Hi. Say hi. Come here. So, he bit a bee earlier. Well, I watched him spit a bee out and I about had a freaking panic attack because I didn't know if he was allergic to bees or not. But I watched him intently for like 30 minutes. Just, are you okay? Is anything wrong? Let me see your mouth. He would not let me get in there. But he's fine. So I guess now I know he's not allergic to bees. Okay, so let's see. I guess uh, we'll start with um, the job situation. So unfortunately, bonehead tattoos and piercings, RIP, is no longer. My boss is retiring. Um, understandably so. He put 20 years in. He did a really good job. Oh, dude, my roommate just brought... What'd you bring? Yeah, pigs in pigs a blanket. Pigs in a blanket. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. All right, thanks, dude. Um, so unfortunately, my boss is retiring, so that's really sad. He's been like a father to me, because when I moved to California, um, I moved to California like four years ago, and I got my apprenticeship like a month after that. So everyone at Bonehead was like more than just like a. It was more than just a job, you know what I mean? It was family, so it really sucks that. Um, it's no longer because those are my peeps. Um, but um, I have also been working at Emerald Tattoo uh, like off and on part time for like the last three years, I'd say two and a half, three years. So that is where I'm at now. So I'm in Lodi and Modesto at Emerald Tattoo. Um, it was kind of weird for me to leave downtown, but it's super busy there. So, I mean, you can't ask for more than to just be busy doing what you love to do. Um, and also, um, yeah, Richie works there. That's my boyfriend. That's my boo. He works there too. Um, he works at the shop in Lodi. Um, he's loving it too. So we're, we're that's good. Uh, what else happened? Um, yeah, I'm excited about that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a space cadet. I don't make like, I don't make like lists of like what I'm gonna go over when I talk in these videos. I kind of just push play and then have like 10 to 20 bloopers because I usually hate what I'm talking about or what I'm saying or something, but I'm just saying, screw it. I'm doing it. And then we got neighbor Bob over here with his motorcycles. You hear him? Neighbor Bob! Neighbor Bob's cool, I like neighbor Bob. So does Diesel. Look at him. Diesel, oh, he wants a pigs in a blankie. Yeah, yeah. He wants a pigs in a blankie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so what else happened? So I guess, oh, so I, um, I've i done a few conventions. Uh, what did I do? I went to Philly in February, and that was the first time I've ever been to Philly, and it was cool as shit. Everyone I met was super rad. Um, oh, way to go, Chase. Dude, Sorry. way to go. Sorry. That's my fault. Party foul on this guy, everybody. Oh, that good. party foul on that guy. <laughs> um, wow. So what was I saying? Philly was rad. Um, I met Miss Mary Lee, who she's a babe, and she's super sweet in real life, which was awesome. Um, super awesome. And then what else? Um, also, the Musink, I did Musink uh, the first weekend of March in LA, and that was a lot of fun. Um, I met Makani Terror, and she is such a babe, and she's so sweet, dude. She just hung out and just, we bullshitted, and it was awesome. And she's like a super babe, and she's just down to earth and chill as shit. Um, that was definitely a highlight. We hung out and watched Deftones together, so that was really cool to see Deftones as well. Um, I went down with my friend Brandon uh, from uh, Black Sea Tattoos in Walnut Creek and we had a blast, him and his wife, and Devin, Devin from there as well, and his lady, and it was a lot of fun. 
it was a lot of fun. A lot of shit talking and being busy and like good times. Ben Gunn tattooed me, which I have to show you because I've been a fan of Ben Gunn for like three years. I've been saving spot real estate for him. And he busted that bad boy out. Hell yeah. Love it. Healed awesome. So that was definitely a highlight. Because I've been trying to get tattooed by him for like three years. Because he tattoos like Emily Dearheart and Roxy Lee who are like my fave, my faves. <laughs> uh, definitely girls to look up to, but... Um, and he was fun. Him and his lady were a hoot. Um, yeah, so a lot's been going on. But um, I just wanted to check in with you guys. It's been a minute. So I figured that I can't leave you hanging and that I should at least explain what's been going on. And if you have any questions or anything that you'd rather talk about. and Because I hope I'm not boring you. I really don't want to. Do you hear that squeak? Is that just me? Or... Tight. Oh, there's Bella. Hi, Bella. There's kitties running around. Hmm? Looks like she got like rust on her hair. <laughs> so I'm gonna let you guys go and um, have a wonderful night. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.